What's going on, guys? It's Gathalion. And if you've been paying attention to my Twitch and YouTube channel over the last couple months, we've been doing something called Hags, or Hide and Go Seek on Borderlands 2. Now, one of the main rules is that everybody, the seeker and the hider, needs to have their HUD turned off. So I thought I would do a step-by-step -step easy guide on how to turn off your HUD on Borderlands 2. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the Steam folder that uh, Borderlands 2 is installed in. Now, usually it's going to be um, on your C drive, but I actually have a secondary Steam on my uh, solid state. So that's where I'm going to be going. But you're going to want to be going to your Steam folder um, uh, through your, your, uh, your PC. So I'm going to go to my solid state. I have it set as solid Steam. I'm going to show you where it would be on your on your local disk, just your normal disk. Uh, you would be going to your program files, x86, or just program files, and down to Steam. Easy as that. But that's not where I'm going. That might be where you're going. So I'm going to my Steam folder, and I'm gonna go to Steam Apps, Common, Borderlands 2, Willow Game, Config, and then you want to go to defaultinput.ini. Now, if you happen to break anything in this, like delete some lines of text, you can just delete the file, and then you want to go into Steam, and you want to verify your game cache, and it will re-download any files you messed up. So we're going to go into defaultinput.ini. Let's pull that to full screen. Now, this is really easy. Really, really easy, okay? All right, follow me real quick. See this line I have highlighted? Normally, that's not there, and it looks like this. What you want to do is you want to put your cursor directly underneath where it says engine.console. You're going to want to put cursor right there, and you're going to want to... Boom. You want to type console key equals tilde. Tilde. That's the key I use. You can set it to any other key if you want to, but I use tilde because it's not set to anything. And then you want to leave a space. Boom in between engine player input and console key equals tilde. What does the tilde look like? Well, it looks like this. That's tilde. It's the button, it's generally right above tab and right underneath escape on your keyboard. If you don't know what a tilde key is, go to google.com and Google the word tilde. This is what you want. This is what it'll look like when you come to edit it. So again, what you want, What it'll look like. One more time. This is what you want. All right? Cool. Cool. Awesome. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna boot up Borderlands 2 and uh, yeet and yeet. Let's go ahead and boot up Borderlands 2 and I'm gonna show you how to turn off your console while you're in game because you have to activate that console key first before you go into Borderlands 2. Ba -ba -ba -ba, booting up Borderlands 2, Borderlands 2. Now this is really cool also for people who want to take sweet screenshots. Say you turn off your um, your HUD, then you can go anywhere and just take screenshots of enemies. This is especially cool if you uh, have a super fun time engine and you can freeze the game and you can take a lot of really cool screenshots. Um, I have my Borderlands audio actually muted right now. Let's let's just go in with the guns Eddie giddy out here and we're gonna show you guys how to um, Turn off your HUD completely. So now that you have uh, enabled console key equals tilde You hit that tilde key and it will bring down the console What you want to type in is toggle? HUD all one word boom HUD gone clean look you, the thing about when you're, you're, you can't go into your inventory, you can't access things like fast travel, um, anything that brings anything up on your console, you're not gonna be able to interact with. But it does give you this really cool, clean look, and if you happen to just throw all your weapons away, I have that set to Q, you can, you can stand still, and you won't have any, any guns in your picture, and you can take really screen, or really clean screenshots for whatever you want. Now, obviously, I can't pick up my weapons now, so to re-enable your uh, HUD again, you wanna hit that tilde key, and here's a shortcut. Whatever your last console command 
used was you can hold shift and press up and it'll bring it. No matter if you've exited the game or not, once you've done that, you can uh, bring it back up. But if you type anything else in there, it's gonna go ahead and um, use the last thing you typed. So it's hold shift and then up. See, tilled, I'm holding shift, press up, toggle HUD, done. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you turn off your HUD for Borderlands 2 if you wanna play something like hide and go seek with your friends, or if you intend on playing hide and go seek on any of mine or Baru's or morning after kill streams, um, that's how you do it. That is how you do it right there. Please have that enabled before you come in. That is the only way it remains fair. If is if everybody has their HUD disabled, or if you just wanna fucking take cool screenshots without a HUD, that's how you do it. Anyways guys, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you back in Borderlands 2.